Now we're on the filter envelope. Okay, the filter envelope starts off, so it's not really gonna be having any effect until you turn it on right here. It looks similar to the volume envelope. However, now we're dealing with frequency over time, not volume over time. The most important parameter here is the type of filter you'll be using. All right, so there are two low pass filters here. As you know, low pass filters are also called high cut filters. Okay, so these are gonna be cutting into the higher frequencies. One of these is gonna be a more steep curve. That's gonna be our 12 dB of more steep cut. Uh, and one is gonna be a little bit more shallow. Okay, so it's not gonna actually eat in uh, to the high end as much. Bandpass filters just work with a certain range of frequency, so this could just be like a bump on the EQ spectrum uh, that moves from left to right, and it's just acting on those frequencies. So it's not a high pass, not a low pass. High pass filters or low cut filters are gonna be eating into your low frequencies. Let's use the 6 dB low pass since that's our default setting. Uh, and let's just kind of see how it functions here. Let's set our initial frequency to 20 hertz. Okay, so at this point, we're not really gonna be hearing anything because we've cut everything down to 20 hertz and you can't really hear anything uh, below 20 hertz. Our attack is the amount of time it's gonna take for us to get to our break level, which is kind of our next phase of where our low pass filter is gonna be placed. Let's go ahead and just set it at uh, 500 milliseconds so we can really hear that sweep upwards. We'll set our break level to about 7,000 hertz. That's pretty high, so now we're gonna be able to really hear that sweep uh, up from 20 hertz all the way to 7,000. Our decay is the amount of time it takes for us to get to our end frequency on this envelope. Uh, let's have it pretty long as well, about one second. And we'll bring our end frequency down here all the way back down to 20 hertz. Now we're really gonna hear this incorporate more high frequencies up to our break level and then swoop back down to 20 hertz. You might think that added a subtle wave-like feel to the reverb, uh, but if you really wanna notice it more, if you wanna notice uh, that sweep in frequency even more, you would look over here at this resonance value. Okay, this resonance value is going to boost the frequency that's set all along the curve. Okay, so if we get up here to our break level at 7,000 hertz, this resonance value would say, okay, boost 7,000 hertz when we get here. Okay, and as it goes down to the end level, it's gonna be boosting the frequency along the way. So you're gonna notice a sweep uh, that's much more apparent.